Before I was a legislator, I was a public school teacher. I taught, I taught at Rhodes Middle School on the west side of San Antonio. As a middle school teacher, I had to deal with childish drama, fragile egos, and misplaced priorities. In other words, it was perfect preparation for serving in the Texas legislature. <laughs> the west side of San Antonio is a beautiful, historic Mexican-American neighborhood. It's also one of the poorest zip codes in the state of Texas. Every day, my students struggled heroically to overcome poverty, racism, and systems designed to hold them back. My students weren't just kids, they were survivors, dreamers, fighters. I saw it in their eyes, this unshakable resolve, this unconquered spirit. Their hearts burned with a fire older than the world. There's a word the veteran teachers would use to describe the kids on the west side, a Spanish word, ganas. Growing up, I saw the same fight in my mother, a preacher's daughter from Laredo who left home at 19. She moved to Austin and met my father, a 21-year-old high school dropout whose drinking problem sometimes led to violence. One night, he became abusive again. But that night, that night my mother's love rose to meet it. She packed all our stuff and took me to the hotel where she worked. The manager let us stay in one of the rooms until we found a little apartment in East Austin. There wasn't room for a nursery, and so I slept in a crib in her closet. She was so proud of that closet. She decorated it with pictures and toys. No one was gonna tell her it wasn't a nursery. Like my students, my mom was a fighter. And back then, she looked over at the state capitol and she saw Texas Democrats like Ann Richards and Bob Bullock fighting for her. So when I was five years old, she looked at me and she told me we were Democrats because she said, Democrats fight for the people. That's what we do. We fight for the many against the powerful few, whether they're bullies, bigots, or billionaires. That's why we've won the popular vote in seven out of the last eight presidential elections. Democrats fight for the people. Democrats fight for democracy. But as we gather here today, our democracy is dying. A reactionary minority is taking over our government and taking away our freedom. The few are once again trying to dominate the many. In the middle of this emergency, I've been given five minutes to speak to my party. So I wanna talk about some hard truths. The Democratic Party is the only thing standing between this country and fascism. Yet, yet the most our national party leaders can muster is spineless talking points and soulless fundraising emails. National Democrats, you know the ones who fly into Texas to fundraise and then don't spend a penny of that money in our state? They don't know how to fight. Those National Democrats are comfortable on the coasts and comfortable with the status quo. But there's something, there's something about living in a red state that makes you scrappy. Because Texas Democrats know how to fight. Whether whether it's LBJ pushing the Great Society through Congress, or Barbara Jordan impeaching Nixon, or Wendy Davis holding the floor of the Texas Senate for 13 hours, or Beto O'Rourke interrupting Greg Abbott's press conference in Uvalde, or Texas House Democrats breaking quorum twice last year to protest voter suppression, Texas Democrats know how to fight for the people con ganas. That that is exactly what this moment in our history requires. It's what this moment demands, and National Democrats don't have it. But the buck stops with the leader of our party, 
the leader of our country, President Biden. Mr. President, you saved our nation once by defeating Trump. Now we need you to restore its soul by defeating Trumpism. We need, we need you and our nation's leaders to start using every tool in the toolbox to protect our freedom. Lease federal land to abortion providers. Declare a public health emergency. Impeach justices who lied under oath. Prosecute Trump and his fellow insurrectionists. And finally, call the filibuster what it is, a Jim Crow relic that's standing between the American people and cheap prescription drugs, universal pre-K, and a livable planet. Play, Mr. President, play to the fullest extent of the rules. Be brave, be bold, be big, be a little less Washington and a little more Texas. Meet this moment before it's too late. If we've learned anything from history, it's that fascism, whether in 20th century Europe or the Jim Crow South, or Putin's Russia can't be stopped by playing nice or playing safe. <laughs> President Biden is a good man, a man of deep faith. We both follow a barefoot rabbi who gave only two commandments, love God and love neighbor, because there is no love of God without love of neighbor. Every single person bears the image of the sacred. Every single person is holy. Every single person counts. This American democracy was founded on that same self-evident truth that all people are created equal. Our democracy is more than a constitution, it's a covenant, a relationship between neighbors, a promise that we make to each other to share this country. Some of our neighbors are breaking that promise with every suppressed vote, every stolen court seat, and every stormed capital step. Breaking promises in a relationship is not love, it's abuse. And my mother taught me that true love doesn't tolerate abuse. 2,000 years ago, when the powerful few abused the many, that barefoot rabbi walked into the seat of power and flipped over the tables of injustice. His love rose to meet abuse without becoming it. To those who love democracy, it's time to start flipping tables. That's what my faith taught me. That's what my mother taught me on the east side of Austin. That's what my students taught me on the west side of San Antonio. That's what LBJ and Barbara Jordan taught me. That's what Wendy and Beto taught me. And together, Texas Democrats, that's what we'll teach the Democratic Party so that it can fight for the people once again con ganas. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being in this fight. Let's go win this thing. <laughs>